Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you can tell from the lack of headroom, today's the day. We got a big announcement, um, but before that, check it out. Ole is sailing! All right, yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't show you guys the boat setting out, rolling out the roller furling for the first time and really trying it out, but uh, let's be honest, that's not why you clicked on this video. I wanna introduce you to a new member of our crew. Come here, honey. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, I'm so happy. This is Honey. Now, Honey is a Gabriola dog, born and raised. She loves boats. And so I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out, but ever since she got out here, it's been nothing but boat love, boat excitement. And uh, she's very well trained. She's already seven or eight years old. We're not quite 100% on that one, but uh, yeah, what a cutie. Not at all the dog I thought I'd end up with, but life is like that. She is very quiet, a lot quieter than Champ was, and very relaxed most of the time. She loves, loves, loves hunting. And so every time she sees a deer or a rooster or a, a turkey or like anything that looks a little tasty, you start freaking out, don't you? You start absolutely freaking out. So we gotta work on that. We got some training to do. But otherwise, incredibly well trained. You listen to 99% of what I say. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, oh, that Olay is here, you know. He's cool too, right? <laughs> He's actually been here for the last 24 hours, helping me just get this done, and uh, kind of didn't jive with the feel of video, so I had to make him hide, along with Honey, because Honey's been on the boat for a week now. I don't know if you guys ever picked up, but there was all these little jingling noises and stomping noises. That's her in the background. I didn't want to show her off until I was sure that it was a good fit, because you got to try these things out, right? And uh, yeah, seems like a good fit. Ole, you seem like a good fit for the uh, captain here. You're doing pretty good. And way off in the background, do you see him looking majestic with his sails running downwind? It's Mr. Vern in the huffin' puffin'. He's back there. He's basically been sailing circles around us. That boat is a lot faster than my little boat. And plus, I suspect he runs his diesel engine a lot more than he says he does. about midday still a little uh, a little breezy we're getting a little bit of wind we're making an average of about four and a half knots not too bad and uh, we're about halfway now so the crew is taking a little siesta I'm on the tiller and uh, it's a good way to start the sailing season I think this has been yeah really nice pretty loud. This little two-stroke is uh, not very quiet. Uh, we had to start motoring. Wind died off. Forecast, as usual, is exactly opposite as to how it actually happens. I don't know why we even check the weather. We should just sail.
All right, we made it to uh, Salt Spring Island. What do you think, honey? You wanna go for a walk? You do? Funny you should mention that. Funny you should mention that, you big cutie. Oh. All right, well, we'll go for a walk then. Yeah, see us. We're just uh, finishing a quick little um, shore leave on Ganges here, which is the town in Salt Spring. And we're heading back to the dock now. We had a burger that I won't even really talk about. It was fine, it was all right, but it was nothing to talk about. But honey here, honey. Wanna go back to the boat? Wanna go back to the boat? Oh boy! And right into the dinghy. Oh yeah, you gotta wait for me. Okay, hold on. All right, okay, go on. There you go, good girl. Now stay put. <laughs> Just a little, little wiggly. All right, we made it back out to the little sea lark. Ole is down below vaping. And uh, Ole, you wanna give him a tour of our uh, beautiful home for the weekend? <laughs> This is mine. I lost. Sleeping bag. So that's called a quarter berth. Quarter berth. You're in on this side. And uh, this side is uh, right here is uh, Simon's and Honey's place. Yep. This is the uh, pantry. Galley pantry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not very spacious yeah. in here, but. And, and this know. is the, the patio out there. Yeah. Patio. You got a nice space out here. Um, that outboard has number two on it, and that's because it runs for two seconds. This one, though, old crusty, <laughs> is treated as well. We had some grinding earlier on. She made some ticking and grinding noise, but we fixed that, and uh, she's got us all the way here. So loud, ugly, but she works. And this one, pretty quiet. You also work, don't you, honey? work as a guard dog 24 7. all right i hope you guys enjoyed the trip out um it wasn't very dramatic but it was just fine for olay and uh for our new crew member honey um she's a very different dog and a very good dog and i'm happy to have her out happy to have her as part of crew it's good to have a dog again Well, the crew's siestas are done. Hey, honey. She's done siesting, so we cruised over here to Bettis Beach, which is uh, the closest beach we could find to our little Ganges Inner Harbor uh, mooring where we were at. Well, anchor, I should say, Anchorage. And yeah, now we get to play like we're one of those really fancy YouTube channels with their uh, hot bikini girls. So, Ole, crack nope. out the bikini? <laughs> no? Okay, well, anyway. Uh, I'm not clean enough for that kind of stuff. Also, my teeth aren't white and straight enough, but we do have a beach and we're gonna make food here. So this is our little cooktop. Ole's gonna make dinner. Chef Ole is on the case. Chef Boy Ole. Okay, so we're gonna go hang out on the beach, me and uh, Honey here, and have a romantic walk. What do you think, Honey? You want a romantic walk? She just looks at me like, uh, yeah.
exploring a little bit here. It's really cool to be back somewhere new for a change. I've had cold feet on the boat for a while, I think, and it's just nice to see something new. But what can I tell you? Bettis Beach. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, lovely little beach. Pretty good anchorage, not too far from shore, although quite rolly as it is exposed. Good on a calm night like we're having tonight. And uh, probably best served in the morning when you would get the sun actually on the beach. But since it's late this afternoon, we're not getting much sun, just shade. And uh, it's gorgeous, just the same, but we'll see it tomorrow morning and I'm sure it'll be even better. Come on. Some tasty beach style macaroni bolognese with sausage and a little bit of, there's a little onion, carrot, a little bit of cilantro. No, was it was this dacron? Anyway, right. another root, some mushrooms, and some of that delicious sambal sauce. Sambal, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, just a little of that sambal sauce. A little spicy. I think once you leave it in there for a couple days in a cooler. Really starts kicking off that sambal. If I see my beard, you guys will tell me, right? morning ladies and gentlemen even though there hasn't been any wind uh, the wave action here on this exposed bit of beach is pretty intense and it's mostly from all the boats passing way out in the past but uh, it's just tossing us around I mean, really tossing us around last night uh, it finally died off what time do you think it died off at three four o'clock yeah three or four in the morning and, and I think we got to bed a little bit before that but yeah, no, it, it was a hard time sleeping out here and it's hard to prepare anything out here because it's really tossing and turning. This little boat really bobs, so we're going to fire up the motor and head back into Ganges. Quick little shore leave. We got beautiful weather. It's warmed right up. Um, there's hundreds of sails behind me. Everyone's out on Ganges Harbor right now, sailing back and forth. We're here just making some lunch. Um, Olay looks like he's about to kick in the siesta pretty hardcore. And he's definitely on siesta train. And uh, we're using the Kodiak's panels to charge up the battery bag now. Our battery bank we're using is the first gen, but they now have a second gen battery bank. I'll include a link in the description because technically I am still one of their affiliates. <laughs> so I am supposed to be marketing for them. And uh, all I gotta say is I thought the Kodiak one was perfect. I thought it was perfect. And they've come out with a second one and they've made it better. So hopefully they'll send me one eventually, but uh, the time being, I'll just have to make do with a perfect battery bank, not a more than perfect battery bank. And it's working, it's doing its job perfectly. The panels are charging up. We're able to charge the camera battery and everything else I need for the shoot in an hour. So let's have some lunch and I'll see you guys after the shoot.
So things were going really good. We were relaxed. We thought, oh, we'll just crank the motor all day and we'll get back to, we'll get all the way back to Degnan Bay. Even though we left in the afternoon, we could do it, you know? Seven hour run, motor, just go. Well, Mother Nature had other plans. Forecast didn't say anything about this. We had 25 knots there for a bit. Uh, it's calm right down on the wind, but the swell is still huge. So we're cutting in close to the islands, using them for wind shades, and we're gonna make our way up to Clam Bay. That's the goal, Clam Bay. How you doing, Ole? Good. Uh, it up. By the As soon as we got to Clam Bay, the outboard failed. So now I'm rowing our broke asses into the bay onto anchor so we can figure it out, fix the damn problem. We're still four hours out from Jagnum Bay and I don't think we're gonna be able to sail all the way there. There's two passes between us and there. We're not gonna make it through on just sail power, not with the contrary winds that we've been getting. Yesterday was just a matter of not letting it idle because it wouldn't idle. Now it's a matter of not getting it started because it won't start. Hopefully it starts because I don't want to live here anymore.
rested, relaxed. I am a little burnt from this trip. We're gonna wrap this thing up, but uh, we're gonna wrap it with a celebration because today is Ole's birthday. He's turning 21 for the 20th time. <laughs> And uh, we're celebrating by having his favorite meal in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Hamburger Helper. Uh, apparently this is Ole's favorite meal in the world, so don't ask me why, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today's video. Happy birthday, we made it back safe and sound. Big shout out to Kodiak and their original pack. They've come out with a second one. The stats are up on their website. You guys can check it out if you're interested. I do have an affiliate link, Finding Simon. Use it, you save some cash, I get some cash. Everyone's happy. Um, but still working with that first gen one. It powered everything the whole weekend we were gone. This guy basically watched YouTube every second he could step away from the tiller for a minute. So we were burning up juice pretty good like charging up all of our devices charging up my drone charging up my camera charging up everything so yeah it kept up with all of it and i'm really happy and that was just no electrical system on that boat at all so do we just pick that up put it down done so i can't suggest them enough i've really enjoyed uh working with them um that's it just a little shout out to him and shout out to ole for sticking it through what was a pretty epic adventure thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow Thank you.